Hey everyone, it's Enoki again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick little haul over a couple of things that I picked up from Ulta or I ordered on Ulta and what I picked up from Target. It was really funny because I completely forgot that I ordered stuff from Ulta so I bought some makeup and things on the way home from work and my husband saw me come in with a bag of makeup while a box of makeup was waiting. <laughs> for me on our coffee table and he's like can you can you stop <laughs> so I thought it was really funny and I just kind of wanted to share with you some of the things that I picked so first up. I just want to share with you some of the things I picked up from Target a lot of it's clearance items because Target is currently doing a reset in their cosmetics area which is really exciting they're making room for some new brands um, unfortunately that means a couple of the brands currently in Target are kind of um, condensed and some of them are being phased out completely but that means a lot of these things are currently on clearance and that's what I picked up a few clearance items and you know we're coming out of the holidays they're getting some of their spring stuff in making room for that so not everything's completely going away so keep that in mind but I did pick up a couple lashes from e.l.f. which were Originally three dollars, fifty percent off, one fifty each. I don't really wear lashes all the time, but I thought a dollar fifty. I'm gonna try them out. And Elf, I know they're keeping the lashes in the store. I just don't think they're keeping these styles. But I did want to see like how they performed. And if I hate them, it's a dollar fifty, and I don't have to care about it. <laughs> so I did pick up a couple of those. So the next thing I picked up was the Sensational Gel nail polish and it's called make my heart beat and it's spelled b-e-e-t like it's adorable and that color just looked so pretty and i wanted to give it a try i haven't tried it yet but i did kind of open it it's in this like dark black box it has a shade again on the back and that one was originally 5.99 50% off Got it for $2.98, which is awesome. The next thing I got is this from Revlon. And it's really funny because I didn't notice it until I got home. But those shades are almost exact. <laughs> but this is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. And I got that for $2.38. So it was originally $7.99. Got it for $2.38. Pretty impressed with myself. And there's a little applicator. I feel like I had one of these a long time ago, just not in the shade. So I did want to give it a try because I really do think this is a pretty shade. It is on the hand. Oh, and it smells good too. I like that. I picked up this one because copper tone was something that I used when I was little, and I always remember like my mom having copper tone in our house and our sunscreen i figured like if it's good for babies like it should be good and it's sensitive enough for like my changing skin um and the fact that it has no fragrance is something that caught my eye as well spf 50 that's great some of my foundations do have spf in them but i don't think they all have enough so having something extra is definitely great and I've been told over and over again, if you don't do anything like as a skincare routine, always at least have SPF. And that's the one thing I haven't had in quite some time. So I'm going to try to start incorporating that into my morning skincare routine. So moving on to the things I picked up from Ulta. One of them I've used in this channel before. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is something I really enjoy using. The mist is so nice and fine and the scent. It's not something like the fragrance of it. It doesn't irritate or water my eyes. I've used like the MAC one before, the MAC Fix Plus. I did get it scented, which is dumb, I know. But <laughs> the scent was just a little overpowering. Um, so this one doesn't like affect me in that way at all. And I haven't had it in a while. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to add it back. Um, the next thing I got was the SNYX Pore Filler. I know I just opened one. But it had been like a week since I opened it, so I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything in my stash. So I just wanted to make sure this was replaced in my stash because it is like one of my ride or die products. This one I actually forgot that I had ordered and I was like, what the heck is that? But it is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. 
Um, this was in my project last summer and I had like little um, sample size of it. So I picked up this little travel size. So it's a little bit bigger. It's not like as big as like the full size obviously. But it is, let me see, it is half a fluid ounce. And I figured since I have other primers um, in my collection that I'm currently using, just having this one on the side and I'll be able to use it before it goes bad. Um, because I did really enjoy this and the scent, it has like a coconut scent to it, but it's not overpowering for me. A little went a long way and I was able to use that sample size for like, I want to say over a month. So this one, I'll definitely get a lot of use out of it. Um, and it's cruelty free and vegan. So that's, that's a really good thing. But I completely forgot that I had added it to the order. The last three things I got were the NYX Born to Glow. And it's actually what I'm wearing right now. Um, it's very light coverage and like from afar, it looks really good. But if we get a little closer, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I just don't like the way it sits. Like on my skin, oh my gosh, my skin looks terrible up close. <laughs> but like from a distance, it looks great. But like as you get closer, I'm not a big fan. And I, um, I did want to try it out because I'm trying to find an alternative to the foundations I currently have. Most of them are over $30. <laughs> I know. So I'm trying to like reel it back in and get more of like a drugstore foundation and I thought I really do love NYX products so I wanted to try this out. I do have the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. The shade is a little off for me so I was just like let me try something else, um, something new from them or new to me anyway. I don't recall seeing this before um, but I don't like the way it's sitting on my skin. Like from a distance, like if I don't have to look at people, people don't have to get too close to me, I might like it. <laughs> But like as I interact with people like pretty close day to day, so I don't know how how that's gonna work. Um, and this, I think it was a free thing that you got for ordering like X amount from NYX. But NYX hashtag this is everything lip oil. Kind of like that. Oh, it smells nice. I definitely didn't order this though. I don't know anything about this, but it was put in my box for free. I was on the website to see just like a little bit more about this because, I mean, I didn't order it. I have no idea. Um, but it says apply morning and evening onto bare lips. Cool. But it also comes in five different shades. So there's sheer blue, sheer lavender, sheer berry. There's two sheer berries two sheer berries. One's like a hotter pink and one's like a lighter pink. And then there's sheer, which I think this might be. Yes, this is sheer. Um, which is fine, but like, why would I put blue on my lips to go to bed? And then get it all over? I don't know. But the thing I was smelling was the vanilla cherry blossom scent. So it does have a nice scent. Moisturize your lips. Um, I'll give it a try. I probably won't wear it to bed, but I will give this a try. It's also from NYX. Um, I think it was like a bonus points for Ulta, like have so much of NYX products and you get a bonus. Um, so I did add this, but it was something that I thought was really pretty and I had my eye on before. I was like, oh, this is the perfect time to throw it in, but it's this really pretty eyeliner. And it's in the shade Tropical Green. And you can't really see. There it goes. You can kind of see the shimmer. I think with the um, Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette, the shade Illuminati, this might be good for like lining underneath. So it's a slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. I love that. Alright everyone, so that is my mini haul for this week. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products before and what you thought about them. And I will see you all next time.